Here's my latest piece. This is a dagger in some combined medieval styles. It's a pretty big dagger. The blade is 15 inches and the overall length to the end of the uh, peen tang there is 21 and a half inches. It's five and a half inches wide at the guard. And the blade is in Zanjir pattern multi-bar. It's got edges of twisted W's, also known as explosion pattern. You can see what's happening in there. And then it's got bars of uh, Zanjir, that's the chain looking stuff, or the snake looking bar, squigglies. And then uh, double twist core there of plain Turkish at 13 layers. Um, bird's beak weld at the tip so the pattern doesn't get stretched out too much. This is an old pattern off of an Islamic musket I saw at the Met. That's on Jirbar. Okay, here the guard is a ball end guard. And this is forged in some coarse pattern weld, uh, which is a modification of ladder side grain. The blade has been hot punched. I made a punch shaped similar to the blade and punched down a, a seat into the guard so it would sit up into there. The pattern mold is pretty bold on the fittings so I couldn't really go for too high of a contrast with it. These are ferrules of 1018. It's a two-piece ferrule made of a cap and a collar. And they are parkerized black. It's got kind of a sparkly black mill spec almost look, which I really like. This is a walnut core grip with a leather overwrap, wine colored die, um, and 13 layer twist spindles in a cage around it that go under the collars. Here's the other collar. When I hot peened the tang down, some things shifted a tiny bit, and that's why you see that the cap is a little proud of the ring there. But it is what it is at this point. Uh, the pommel here is made out of a rose roll. We got a little flux inclusion there, so I took the flux out, but that leaves a little gap. Again, never gonna have to cut anything with that, and it's definitely holding together, so. It is what it also is. I always wanted to do a rose pattern Damascus pommel like this, though. That was fun to get to do. Here we've got a peen block, which is also parkerized. And then the end of the tang, I welded on a uh, TIG weld and normalized too, so should be strong. I welded on a 1018 extension here so I can hot peen it down against the peen block. Um, this knife weighs in at one pound, eight ounces, and the balance is about an inch in front of the guard there. Feels solid in the hand, but it, it's got pretty quick recovery. Mid-rib blade, that was interesting, haven't tried that yet. This uh, standing proud of the blade, so the blade itself can be pretty thin and be stabilized by that mid-rib. It's like the opposite of a fuller. Anyway, I learned a lot with this one. Uh, I'm gonna wait a while before I make another because boy, it takes a lot of time and I am tired. But uh, thanks for looking, guys.